Okay, very good morning, everyone, and welcome to the pre-recorded briefing for Thursday, the 1st of June, the first day of meteorological summer. So taking a look at the chart, uh, as I mentioned yesterday, we've got this weakening cold front to the north, and it's actually painting on here a blue front behind it. As we go ahead, this is from midday, as we go ahead to midnight, we see, well, it's pretty much gone with a little bit here. So I don't think we're going to see actually any effect from that in this area. Looking further ahead towards midday tomorrow, uh, exactly the same. And the day after that, exactly the same again. We've got this high pressure that is stubbornly stuck to the northwest. Um, so that's being that's leaving us with northeasterly winds and reasonably settled weather. Spot wind today, uh, showing northeasterly over us about 20 knots. And the sat pick is currently showing a fair amount of cloud over our area. Um, but that's similar to yesterday. I'm hoping it's going to burn off reasonably quickly. Uh, just having a look at the rainfall forecast, just interesting to show this. It's picking up a little bit up to the north. And as we go ahead through the day, sort of a few spots up there, uh, but nothing ever getting to us. That's probably what's left of that cold front, but as I mentioned, a very weak feature. Looking at the public forecast, I'm beginning to think we don't need daily briefings because the weather is exactly the same for the next week. Um, top temperatures today of about 19 degrees at northeasterly winds between 10 and 20 knots. And as we go ahead, every single day, is, as far as my forecast goes, the wind and the temperature is exactly the same. All the way up until next Wednesday, still 10 gusting 20 from the northeast. So as usual, uh, good visibility, slightly reduced to begin with, and humidity reducing over the next few hours uh, for quite a nice blue sunny day. But as I'm going to mention, probably not the best for soaring. GFS is showing about 17, 18 degrees in our area. I think it will get a little bit warmer than that. With a dew point of about 11. So uh, when the thermals do get going, then hopefully it should go to a reasonable height. Uh, this current view outside it is a little bit gloomy. Uh, as I mentioned, that is going to be burning off quite soon, hopefully. Current temperature is only nine degrees with a dew point of six. So there's likely to be less than a thousand feet. And Farnborough, a late observation was overcast at 1100 feet. So that's more like 900 here. And a reasonably short half, they're forecasting here um, between seven and, well, actually four this afternoon, broken clouds at a thousand feet. I think that. Uh, it won't be lasting quite that long. They've got another tempo here, uh, becoming 8 to 11 a.m. this morning, scattered clouds at 2,000 feet. Odium, very similar. Latest observation was broken clouds at a height of 900 feet. And as we go ahead, becoming scattered and a few clouds higher to 2,800 feet. Uh, top Betio is just showing this sort of lower cloud in our area. Uh, it's 10 a.m. As we go to 11, that's pretty much gone uh, with a little bit of sub 2,000 foot cloud left. And then by midday, it's all cleared up. And your potential flight distance for the day for the 18 meter glider is that. So not the most inspiring uh, and really best over London and possibly a little bit down to the southwest. Quite nice if you're up here to the north, um, but a little bit out of our reach. Looking at the thermals themselves at 10 a.m., not a lot going on, go towards midday, uh, same blue thermals to about 2,000 feet, and into the afternoon it's suggesting blue thermals to a maximum of about 2,500 to 3,000 feet. And then going until, well, maybe about 6 o'clock, and then slightly reducing again. If we have a look at the site forecast for today, it's showing thermal strength only about two and a half knots um, and that height is starting to become sort of more usable from about 12, one o'clock and better from about four o'clock, um, two o'clock onwards. So it looks like we're waiting for temperature about 17, 18 degrees before it really gets going. No TAMs, nothing too much to affect. The one to probably be cautious of is this number 21 here. Uh, parachute display with two nautical mile uh, radius at Winchester. Uh, that is 1545 to 1615 UTC. Uh, otherwise, nothing 
too much in the lateral area. We've got 25 here, which is our no town for the comp. 34 up here is still that article dropping at Abingdon. So again, one to avoid. Uh, otherwise, it's not too busy. So operation new today. We're going to have the usual comp set up. Uh, we will be at the end of runway 16, operating on runway 09. With a launch point there, and the glider's launching from this position here, going behind. Uh, reasonably close to the north side Primus track, but leaving enough room for gliders to tow through the gap here between launching gliders and the launch point. Comp grid will be on the runway to the south. So for those of you that haven't uh, been here so far, uh, club flying during competition is a little bit different, so we won't have the winch out, not to begin with anyway, uh, so it'll be aero -tow only. While it is aero -tow only, we do a reduced rate, so £25 to £1,500 feet for winch current pilots or pilots under instruction, otherwise it's normal rates. Um, please can you aim for, to do left-hand circuits and land on the north side of grass. Uh, if you do land on the south side, especially when the comp grid is going, there may be a significant delay before we can get you. Uh, comp launching is likely to be at least 1 p.m. onwards today. Um, and to be honest, it's likely that it might be delayed uh, a long way or actually scrubbed like it was yesterday. If it is scrubbed, then we probably go and do the remaining aerotow launches from the front of the grid as it's less busy there. Uh, but as soon as we can, we get the winch out. Um, if it does go, club launching would be suspended for about an hour. And again, if they do go, uh, there'll be about 80 gliders. So keep a really good lookout if you're up there. And when they are coming back, be aware of them. Uh, they could be approaching straight in. So that's pretty much it from me. Uh, I think by the time we get the gliders out, it should be pretty much uh, flyable. So I'll see you all out there. Bye for now.